Hello everyone and welcome back to Snowball AI. So I have recently updated my custom GPT, the GPT that's for creating consistent characters using Dall E and ChatGPT. So I can show you a quick example and I'm going to walk through the other steps as well and how to get as good results as I have. So you can just tell it to start and it asks you if the character should be male or female. I chose female, it asks you to provide a name I gave a name and then it says, could you describe the detail such as age, country, hair, outfit, etc. So I told it that it's going to be a 30 year old Kurdish black long hair wearing yellow t-shirt and blue jeans, white sneakers. And then it gave me this one here and then it asks you for other expression, action or poses that you would want. So I told it, uh, give me four different examples. And then I just chose one of them. I chose Lana reading a book and then it created this one. And then one where she's playing chess and one where she's playing tennis and sitting on the boat and watering her plants. So as you see here, like it can be a bit different, but you can actually change some of this stuff. So I'm going to show you like here, let's say that these eyes are too bright. So we can just go here and click on this pen button and we can actually change the images inside of um, dolly 3 now let's just reduce the size of the brush let's do this and this let's say dark brown eyes so this feature is something new and you can do some minor adjustments to it while you're inside dolly so you don't have to upload it to photoshop I still recommend that you use Photoshop, however, because you have more control, but for minor changes, you can still use this one here. And we got this one here now. So it's still not good. That's why I would rather use Photoshop instead. And here is the one for the animals. So it's the same thing. It asks me to give it a specific species. I told it to give me a list. I chose the fox. It asked me for a name. I gave it brownie. It asks for age fur color, outfit, and so on. So I told it that it's five years old, orange color, wearing a red scarf and blue eyeglasses. Uh, it actually did the eyeglasses good, but then it changed it. So it wasn't round eyeglasses, but we could fix that by writing round blue eyeglasses. So that's like some of these things you have to think about yourself. So this is the next step here, playing chess. Uh, yeah, I did the same thing here. So it's the blue eyes, it had brown eyes. I gave it brown eyes again here. Uh, might not be the perfect result, but you get the point. So Brownie reading a book. We got this one here. It looks as if it's a younger version. And then where he is boxing. And then I have one where he's playing tennis, but it doesn't show the entire body. Down here, we have one where he's fishing and one where he's driving jet ski. So now let me show you how to use this here. So let's go with the consistent animal character. Click on start here and then it asks you for the species. So we can just say an owl. That might be hard actually. And now it tells us to give it a name. So let's go with Huku, something like that. And then when it comes to the description, like sometimes if you can't think of anything good, if you don't already have a character, you can say, give me two alternatives or whatever you want. Um, so young adult, enchanted forest, shades of brown with golden highlights, a small green wizard's hat and a tiny satchel. All right, let's go with this one here. Let's go with alternative one. All right, and we got this one here. That's really cute. So now we can just say, give me five examples where Uku is scared. And we now have five examples. So one is wide eyes, beak slightly open, feathers ruffled, and then we have mid air with a startled look, having just been spooked by something. So as you see here, you can actually use like the bot itself to give you examples and you don't need to stick with those like you can just take inspiration and do your own thing but it's a really good way to just generate some images fast so we got this one here i don't think he looks that scared let's go with this one here okay this is great here 
so they are actually pretty consistent let's say give me three examples and now i just told it to give me more examples and now instead of me having to write a detailed prompt i can just tell it to give me three examples and i choose one of them here so let's go with this one here sitting on a picnic blanket surrounded by a basket of various treats so i want to create this one as well so we could have like two images depicting the same scene in different like situations um, let's go with this one as well this one turned out to be a little better so it's hard to actually like have feathers and create something that holds it but this is pretty good so let's go with create Coco dancing with sunset and you don't need more than that for a decent short story here i just import the images into photoshop i expand the background using the generative fill feature and do not need to write any prompts i add a white round shape for the text and write the story Another great feature with Photoshop is the image reference. Here I change the color of his satchel to green by uploading an image of the green bag our character wore in the other images. You can play around with it and even add a short description to get better results. Now I did this quickly for the sake of this video and here are the images.